apical ectodermal ridge and zone of polarizing activity. The apical ectodermal ridge is the most distal rim of epithelium of the limb bud. The proximal to distal elongation is reduced by the apical ectodermal ridge. The apical ectodermal ridge is the first center to appear. It basically directs the longitudinal growth of the limb. Insult to the apical ectodermal ridge may cause congenital amputation. The mesodermal cells that is underlying the apical ectodermal ridge, rapidly dividing cells, make the limb elongate. It's called the progress zone. It controls the dorsal ventral axis growth. It is a non apical ectodermal ridge limb ectoderm. The Wnt genes, WNT genes, controls the dorsal ventral growth, and the Wnt gene is expressed in the dorsal part of the progress zone. It's actually responsible for making the nails. Enlargement of the limb bud occurs due to interaction between the apical ectodermal ridge and the progress zone. The zone of polarizing activity, it is amazing time just below the apical ectodermal ridge along the proximal posterior limb bud. It secretes sonic hedgehog. That zone of polarizing activity is a major signaling center for the regulation of the anterior posterior patterning. So it will give us the unknown radial limb growth. Just remember the thumb is up anterior, the little finger is posterior initially, and when there is a loss of zone of polarizing activity, there will be loss of posterior elements or ulnar digits. When there is an upregulation of the zone of polarizing activity, will result in additional posterior elements, for example, polydactyly on the other side and the concentration of the sonic hedgehog will be high. If you have duplication of the zone of polarizing activity, you may have duplication of the posterior element, little finger or both sides of the thumb. So in general, there is a high concentration of sonic hedgehog on the ulnar side, the posterior side, for a small finger development and there is a lower concentration on the radial, which is the anterior side, for thumb development. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful to you.